guys, welcome back. Am I filming this video? And I've been wearing this outfit and this makeup for a few videos now. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's not a problem. Hi guys, my name is Dana. Welcome back. And today I am doing a video that people always request and I love to film because it's just a good kind of check-in. I try to do it now, I would say every six months. I always do my end of year one, but I think I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more regularly. Maybe, maybe every quarter, but I think that might be too much. So what is it you ask? Well, the title probably let you know. It is what are my favorites of all the categories at the moment? Now I want to preface this by saying, this doesn't mean that this is my favorite of this category of all time. It's just like, what am I reaching for right now? And sometimes it is a really old one or other times it's because I've been trying out new ones. So it's like a newer one that I'm really loving. So if you're like, but Dana, you said two years ago that blah, blah, blah was your favorite. It might still be, but at the moment I'm reaching for this and that's kind of what it is. So if you do enjoy this video, give it a big old thumbs up, like it below. That's the same thing. Subscribe and we'll get into it. Okay, so the, or the first category I have, I'm making up my own categories, but I'm gonna call this one thin mineral tinted. <laughs> That's opposed to thick mineral tinted. So that means thin, like fluid, very, very flowy, runny kind of thing versus obviously thicker where it's a cream consistency. And we're talking tinted mineral. So the two that I really am loving right now, Super Goop Daily Dose Bio Retinol and Mineral, this is supposed to be a mineral sunscreen, but spoiler alert, it's got butyloctyl salicylate. So it's really like a hybrid, but if we just pretend like it doesn't matter, then it doesn't matter and it's a mineral sunscreen. And then we have the Fab Beauty, which is the weightless liquid mineral sunscreen. I reviewed this one more recently and I have been reaching for this nonstop. I've traveled with it two or three times now and it comes with me each time. It has the most sheer kind of coverage it doesn't look too, too greasy on my skin. This one can look a little bit more greasy because it is really like an oil more than almost anything. But this one, if you have more normal combo skin, this is a better option than this one, which is, I would say, the super goop for more like drier skin people. But both of them have a very sheer amount of coverage. This kind of neutral tint, I don't find that it pulls too cool or too warm. And they're just, just wonderful. I like to wear the first aid beauty one with a little bit of concealer or maybe even just like a sheer amount of skin tint on but you don't really need anything it just cancels out stuff just just the right amount not too much not too little gives you a little bit of a glow but not too much it's just delightful to wear and the same really goes for the daily dose i just think that this one is a little bit more targeted to people with drier skin so these are two really great sunscreens and of course i will link everything below okay mineral non-tinted this is a category that can always be tricky because if it's a mineral sunscreen and it's not hybrid which neither of these are it can be tricky because they can leave a white cast but i have found two that i really really enjoy for two different reasons the first one is the dune this is the mineral melt this is a brand new one i think this video will be live before i post the current one I'm talking about this and i do a full application in that video it's really sheer like incredibly sheer maybe not on the deepest skin tones but if you do layer it and do small thin layers you will have a much easier time with your application and it just is really enjoyable to wear if you have drier skin it might not be the best one for you but it is going to be something you could layer underneath your moisturizer and so far i've just been really loving it and reaching for it even in the summer and i don't typically love to wear mineral sunscreens in the summer just because they kind of like are too heavy, too glowy, and this one's not that. The other one I have is the Isden Photo Airy Photona Actinica. Oh my God, these names. This is the non-tinted version. I also have the tinted version. I did a video on these recently. I will link that above. I've really been reaching for the Isden. I think it's because I know that the protection is there. They are SPF 50. They can help reverse the signs of skin aging. So they're a really, really powerful sunscreen, which I've been looking for a lot during the summer. And while this one isn't 100% sheer, not as sheer as the Dune one, 
It is pretty easy to blend in and I can do a small amount of this and then what I've been doing is putting the non-tinted one on and then putting a little bit of the tinted one as this top layer and so it cancels out any um, of the white cast from this. But this one is also very similar to the Dune in that it doesn't leave your face too glowy, it doesn't feel like a greasy on the skin and it kind of dries down to like a velvet matte almost, but not matte, like not drying matte finish. So both of these highly, highly recommend, especially the Isden if you're looking for like the best protection of a sunscreen. Okay, now if somebody asked me if you could just have one sunscreen right now and like that's it, no other sunscreens, what would you choose? Well, first I'd be like, is it the summer or the winter? Because I, I would have to have two different ones probably and that's, you know, those are my conditions and I'm sticking to them. But I think I could make this one work in the winter and in the summer, but definitely in the summertime. And that everyday, all purpose sunscreen for me is the UV Immune by La Roche Posay. So this is one of the highest protections. You get extra UVA protection from this one from UV Immune. it's a newer filter. It goes on, I would say like there's a little bit of almost like a yellowish tint, Ooh, a little too much. It's not like you can see it right now, but some people do notice that it pulls a little yellow on their skin, but when it rubs in, I would say like it rubs in pretty clear. And when I say it has a yellowish tint, I don't mean like you actually have a tint. I've just heard some people say that. For me, it's 100% invisible. There's no tint to it at all. And I don't find it pulls any color on my skin. It's so fluid, it's so easy. I know that I can count on it when I'm outside for a long time, in the sun, whatever. I can layer it under makeup. There's just nothing I can't do with it. I can layer it over a moisturizer. It really would be the one sunscreen if I had to choose one for the rest of the time, I would probably choose this one. Also, this would be in my chemical category. So we have chemical um, sunscreen. This is this chemical one. Okay, in terms of chemical glowy, and I would almost say like chemical shimmery for this one, but the Glow Screen by Supergoop. I have two Supergoop favorites and they're actually two of the older Supergoop sunscreens. The Glow Screen and the Unseen sunscreen are my two favorites. And the reason that I like the Supergoop Glow Screen, and I have changed my mind on it, I don't know why I'm putting it on, but I am, is because they have come out, let's see if I can show you, it's very hard to see in this light, but it kind of blends into my skin perfectly. They have come out with, I think at this point maybe four, I can't remember if it's five, but shades of this Glow Screen, and it makes me so happy because this shade is the original one, I don't even know what the name of it is, but it doesn't work for all people. It's more champagne-y, it's a little bit light, obviously for some skin tones, but then they have varying darker skin tone shades. So you could actually use one if you're lighter and have like that bronzy glowy look. But I just really appreciate when a brand, especially as big as Supergoop, realizes that this is not a one size fits all. It gives you the nicest glow. It doesn't look glittery. You don't have like actual specks of glitter and it just looks like you're glowing from within and you can find one in the shade that works for you. So that's really great. I also like to mix this in with a tint and that's only if I have another layer on underneath, but this is a nice kind of like added layer of sunscreen with, in that way. Next one we have is Chemical Matte. So the one that I really, really like, and you guys know this, is the Matte About Skin. How much do I have left in here? Oh, a good amount. <laughs> I've changed shirts, I've changed hairstyles, it's like four hours later. <laughs> Basically my battery died so I had to take a break and then I got distracted. So I'm back to finish my favorite sunscreens. Um, where was I? I don't remember but I think I left off on my favorite chemical. I'm gonna say matte but I don't mean I feel like matte gets a bad rep. Like this is a beautiful matte. It is not drying. It is not shiny. It doesn't feel like it pills, I know a lot of matte sunscreens or products feel like they kind of like can pill around the edges. This is none of those things. It's just a really great sunscreen. It's high protection. I wore it in like the mountains of Peru. So I know that there was a lot of sun and UV rays and I did not get an ounce of sun or sunburn. So I have already repurchased it and it is coming back. And I, did I even say? It's the Matte About Skin Protect and Hydrate sunscreen. So let's move on to, at the moment, my favorite invisible sunscreen. So I actually have quite a few favorite invisible sunscreens, but most of them I don't have currently in stock because I've used them all up. 
I really like the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen for like a more expensive one. And then my absolute favorite, I think maybe that I have or have had, is the Starface Clear as Day. You can get it at Target, it's about 26 bucks. I will repurchase it when I'm all out of invisible sunscreens, but I'm trying to use up what I have. I never like to repurchase something when I have something else that can do the job. So that all said, at the moment, the one I am enjoying the most <clears throat> is the Trader Joe's Invisible, what is it called, facial sunscreen. <laughs> um, I need to do a review on this because I do really like it. I was just worried that this was gonna be one of those Trader Joe products that just you find it once and then never again. So I was like, I don't know if I should review something like that. But it sounds like it may be more like permanent. So I will review it. I'm interested actually in getting another one. I've used probably most of it. I have just a little bit left. And the only weird thing, and I don't think everyone else's was like this, but mine felt like a little like tacky, or not tacky, what's the word? Like almost pebbly. It had like chunks in it kind of. And I don't think that is what it should be. So I am probably gonna repurchase it. It's I think $8, so it's not super expensive. And I just wanna see if the texture is the same. Because if it is, I don't love that. I want it to just be really clean and smooth and I mean, it's very silicone-y, but I think I maybe just got like a one-off of that. But that said, it is water and sweat resistant. It's 100% clear and it works really well. Is it my absolute favorite clear one? Like I said, no, but it's a very good one, especially for the price. Like you cannot be $8. So, and I'm almost out of it. <laughs> All right, what's next on my list? My favorite hybrid sunscreen. That is the Dr. Loretta Urban Antioxidant Sunscreen. This is a really nice, more matte sunscreen. It's got a bit of a tint to it, which they don't necessarily need to do, but it doesn't feel like it's like a heavy makeup -y tint. It dries down very quickly. It is very easy to put on and just enjoyable to wear. There's not a ton to say about this. I find it to be pretty unproblematic. It is expensive though. I think it's like $60 or something. So, unless you really just love the brand i wouldn't necessarily say like go out and get it it's just what i have at the moment like i said like this is just what i have of my favorite hybrids but it has made me like hybrid sunscreens a lot more than some of the others i've tried so very good one the next category is an interesting one i'm calling this one best makeup sunscreen <laughs> so this is sunscreen that really really doubles as makeup if you are like me you usually layer it over top of another like lighter sunscreen and depending on what you're using if you're using a chemical or a mineral one i will layer like over like so for example the sun integrity i raved about this recently it was in one of my 14 days of sunscreen videos i will link it above i like the fact that it has really true to skin tone tones i have the shade buff this is like my perfect shade, almost even for like makeups too, but for sunscreens for sure, it's like the closest sunscreen that actually comes to hitting my tones. That said, they only have six shades of it, not at all deep shades, so that's not great. But if you are in the lighter um, skin tone ranges, this could be a very good option. And it is thick. This is a thick one. I like to layer it over a more mineral, um, more fluid sunscreen, and then I feel like I'm getting the best protection. And then my other one that I like to layer is the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow. This is a chemical sunscreen, and this one, again, this one actually has better, a much better range of tones because it is really just a makeup, but it has SPF 30, so I wouldn't necessarily wear this alone, but I would layer it over something like the La Roche-Posay UV Mune. And this one I love. I really, really do end up, or I, I really, really have ended up loving this one. I find that I can manipulate it really easily. If I want it to be matte, I put it on over pretty much nothing or like a very matte sunscreen. If I want it to be a more like natural radiant finish, then I can layer it over something really glowy and it kind of tones that glow down. But it's a really, really nice, more like medium coverage tint with quite a bit of SPF in it as well. All right, we're getting down to it. Now, I said that I had a mineral thin or thin mineral tinted. Now I have the thick mineral tinted, and that is the Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin. I've also talked about this one. I prefer this one to the one in the jar, just because this is SPF 30. I find that it's got a little bit more of that makeup-y look. 
It is a really, really beautiful tint. It can run a little dark though. So if you do have more pale skin, it could be a little too dark on you, but it's easy to blend in. It doesn't feel like it's too thick in terms of like the amount of pigment and it gives you a really nice glow as well. So this is a nice one to have. My favorite SPF stick at the moment is the Hyaluronic Acid, or Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sun Stick. I like this a lot. I don't necessarily reach for sun sticks all that often just because I'm either wearing makeup or I'm wearing sunscreen and I just will reapply. But the sticks are really good for reapplying if you're out on the go, especially if you don't want to get your hands all greasy. This one I really like because it has this kind of angled part, which I find can get into your eye part a little bit more easily than say like the Beauty of Josie on one. And this one has a very natural finish. It doesn't have a glowy finish. It's not matte. It honestly is very similar to the Beauty of Josie on one, which is supposed to be matte. So they could probably label this as matte, but they don't. It's just easy. Like there's nothing much to it. It's a good reapplication. Throw it in your purse. You always have something there. No scent. I like it a lot. I wanted to mention two kind of like ones that I don't really, I guess I have categories for, but I've already mentioned that I really do enjoy. The first one is the Summer Friday Shade Drops. This is an empty. I'm going to be covering that in the empty video soon. I love this sunscreen. It's so fluid. It has no tint. It's so easy to apply. It doesn't change the finish of your skin. You can have your skin glowy if you put moisturizer on underneath. You can have it matte if you don't put anything. It's just a no frills sunscreen. That said, I was talking to a friend on Instagram and she mentioned that this one kind of broke her out and that maybe that was possibly the cause of this um, like rash here. And I don't know if this, I think this rash actually started a little bit later, but it may have exacerbated it. So I am gonna be cautious. I may repurchase this when I need like a new summer sunscreen because this is great in the summer. But at the time, I don't have a new one and I don't know if I'm gonna get it right this second. But I am curious if you've tried it, has it kind of broken you out? Have you gotten any rashes from it? Because if that is the case, then I can't really recommend that. I don't think it gave me this because like I said, the sunscreen came way before the rash, but I wanna be kind of cautious going forward. So I like to mention that if I, you know, if I do know something about it. The other kind of honorable mention that I'm out of is the Say Sun Visor. I'm not technically out of this sunscreen, but I have to discontinue using it because it has gone bad. And the reason it has gone bad is because I have to open it like this and then like squeeze it out because they have one of these airless pumps. Airless pumps don't work for me, especially when it's a thicker consistency. And this is like a little bit thicker consistency, not in a bad way, but it just, the pump doesn't work. So I have to squeeze it out and then I think it's gotten too much kind of air and like in bacteria or whatever into it. So it's gone bad, I won't use it. If I used it more quickly and if the pump worked, I would love this one forever and ever. I think it gives you this natural radiant glow. Like you just look really, really healthy. Not too much tint, not too unnatural of a shade, but I just want them to like fix this packaging because this packaging is not ideal. But if you are in the market for something that gives you just that like really kind of bronzy but lit from within glow, I would highly recommend checking this out. Go to, to your Sephora and swatch it. They have a mini size, which would be really good. But yeah, honorable mention to those two. Now, I know this is going long, but I do have two that I don't really know what category to put in. I guess it can be tinted mineral, but I feel like this is more like tinted mineral glow. Both of these, this is the Kosas Dream Beam and then the Hero Force Shield. Both of these have a tint, like a very noticeable tint to them. One is a bit warmer with the Hero one and one is more neutral with the Kosas. I love both of them equally. When I'm like a little bit more tan, I'll go with the Hero one. I don't know if this will work for every skin tone. I think it will pull very warm, but I love the fact that this one really dries down. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It gives me a very nice, like warm, summery glow. And then the Kosas, I've heard so many mixed reviews about this and I don't quite get it because I've never had any experience with any of the issues. People, a lot of people say that it pills on them. I think that's the main issue. I've never had that. I've put it over other skincare. I've put it on alone. I've tried it every which way and it just goes on like a dream to me. 
and I actually kind of prefer the tone of this one. It pulls more neutral. It's got like a little bit of a tint to it for sure, but it's nothing too overwhelming. And for all of these um, sunscreens, pretty much everything that I've mentioned or almost everything, I do have a video. So I will try to link them above when I can or just go to my channel and search like whatever, Costa's Dream Beam, and you'll find the video. And then you can see the application and everything. So these, I don't know the category. We'll just put like random favorites <laughs> and that will be the category for them. So I think that's it guys. I'm very tired of talking. I've been talking a lot today, filming all these videos, but I do hope it helped. And like I said before, these are just current favorites. It's not all time favorites. It's just what I'm going after right now. Maybe it's because they're on my desk. Maybe it's because they're new, but it gives you a good sense of what I'm liking. And then at the end of the year, I do my year end favorites. So anything that came out in 2023, I will tell you like my top five. So be sure to be subscribed so you see that video and I will see you guys in the next one.